Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be putting on the Perrin intercooler stencil. Um, I kind of already did it. Um, I'm unwrapping it right now, it's drying. Um, so you guys will see the unwrapping and then putting it on the car and seeing what it looks like. Um, I'm really excited to see how it looks. Um, so yeah, let's get into the rest of the video. So yeah, the Subaru is taken apart for this process, obviously. I uh, just took off the bumper and then just the intercooler. And this is what it looks like so far. I already kind of did on um, just the untaping of it, um, but I haven't done a full reveal yet. These corners peeled up, but it's already painted on there. So I'm not worried about it. You can kind of see that there. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna unwrap it right now and show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully it looks really good. I use this uh, flat black um, paint and primer. Uh, this is at my Ace Hardware for like $6. Um, pretty good buy, so there's the fog light covers too, but all right, let's get to the unmasking. And look at that, guys. That looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Turned out very well. I like that flat black that I used. Oh, that's gonna look really sick on the front of the car for sure. Especially with the hood up, cause it has like the parent dress up kit. Oh, I got the parent cold air intake. I think it's gonna fit very well with the car. So yeah, let's get it hooked up and see what it looks like. So we got the intercooler mounted and might I say with the bumper off it looks absolutely insane with the engine bay I love the way that thing looks it turned out super well All right, so let's uh, get to the putting on the bumper and let's see what it looks like with the bumper on Just like that, we are done with the Perrin stenciled intercooler. I think it looks really good, especially from like a distance away. I'll put it a little bit lower just because I wanna be able to see it um, when you're up close, but obviously when you get down a little lower, it is low, um, but I think that's all right. I think it still looks really good, especially when you're standing. It looks really good right there. I think it matches super well with the car. And I actually wanna see what it looks like with the hood down as well. There's the final product with the hood down, looks super sick. Really spices up the front a little bit more. Really like the way that looks. I'm gonna back up the car a little bit so I can get like a front view um, from the back too. And look at that guys. That's what it looks like from head on. It is a little low, I will admit, um, but I still do really like that. Um, especially cause if you're like standing up here and you're standing next to the car, it looks pretty even and it's better to go lower than higher since you can actually you know see it um it's right on line with the bottom um so it's like perfect in line i think it looks so sick i think pictures are gonna look awesome um new feature videos are gonna look awesome as well it is the next day and might i say the parent intercooler stencil looks super good the fitment on it is awesome and i can't wait to do some like really cool pictures with this thing um, so I'm gonna end the video here. I don't have too much planned for today. I have the NVIDIA N1 Capac exhaust ordered, so it should be here in the next couple days. And I have a carbon fiber hood scoop coming. That should be here in the next couple days as well. So I'm gonna end the video here and stay tuned for those other videos that are coming up. Um, I'll probably post them in the next week or two. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below for any ideas you guys want me to do in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.